What's up, people? My name is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Parallax Effect in Adobe After Effects. We still have loads of people watching the Adobe After Effects Masterclass. Learn everything about Adobe After Effects. That's on the channel. If you didn't know about it, it's huge. Like 11 hours teaches you everything about After Effects. And we're talking about the Parallax Effect. This is still one of the dopest effects, the 3D image Parallax Effect. Let's break it down. Side note, throw on some, some footage of the Parallax Effect from Nelly. Nelly, by the way, one of the coolest celebrities I ever filmed. Celebrities, naturally, when you know, you're filming a nightclub. I filmed a bunch of different celebrities. They, they're a little bit cold. They don't really pay that much attention to the camera. I think the camera might even annoy them, to be honest. Nelly, the complete opposite. See me across the room. He could see I was kind of struggling to get a good shot. There's obviously naturally a lot of people around him. And, you know, he literally called me over and set up this really cool transition where he grabs the camera. We turned it into something really dope in the video. I'm sure I'm showing you stuff on the side over here. But, you might not have cared about that. Side note, let's get back to the video. They book a videographer and a photographer. So I went to the photographer and I said, hey, can, can I just get your email? After this, this shoot, just please dump all the pictures to me. And then I took those pictures that he gave to me and we animated this into an amazing edit. What's open Photoshop? To do this effect, it is literally as simple as this. You want to get your picture and you're going to need to isolate each individual part of the image. You want to turn it into different layers so that you can you know, have, have them at different points in the video and you have this 3D look. So let's go ahead and isolate some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and isolate my subject and let's break it down into each individual layer. We've got, uh, for example, a hand that we know we're going to move, right? We're going to do that in a minute in After Effects. We've got uh, the body itself and, you know, an object we want to move and the background isolated as well. Isolate all your key elements in Photoshop. So you highlight your subject, you go up and modify and just go ahead and increase the spacing a little bit because you're actually going to want to kind of delete that, right? Copy it, save it to a new layer, but then delete it from the background. And you're going to want to go up to fill and do content aware fill, which is going to fill the background in with kind of artificial intelligence to figure out what that background should look like. The background's going to look very strange and very sloppy. Don't worry. It's not going to be very visible. It's just there to give us a little bit of extra workroom so we can rotate and mess with these layers. Let's take all those images. Let's throw them in After Effects bit by bit. And we're going to go ahead and break this down. First off, we need a camera. We need a 3D camera. So let's come up. Let's make a camera. And what we want to go ahead and do is change the view and we want to position these as they legitimately would appear in a 3d space so the arm is going to be a little bit ahead right that's going to be the first thing then you're going to get the body that then the background um and then we're going to layer in particles and flashes and all that kind of cool stuff on top of this as well and it overall comes together to be a really nice effect but let's go ahead and put our 3d camera right there and let's actually add some animation we want to get this animation going first so we've positioned everything in the 3d space now what we go ahead and do is animate this camera. The camera goes in and we're going to want to go ahead and, you know, do other camera themed stuff. So what does a camera have? It obviously has some form of blur. It has some kind of, you know, focal length, which creates some blur. So luckily enough, the 3D camera in Adobe After Effects enables us to do all that as well. We can mess with the aperture and we can mess with a couple other settings that enable us to create this camera effect where not only do we have a 3d movement but we have all the other things that would coincide with a real shot we have the aperture we have uh you know the focal length and that creates the illusion that this is a legitimate you know camera zooming in rather than just like a you know basic scale zoom for example if you took your image and you just scaled it in it obviously just doesn't look any anything like a genuine camera is zooming in so let's get all that stuff sorted and then we have room to mess with the puppet tool the next bit is very simple it's kind of just intuitive you want to identify all of the joints you want to go ahead and establish the joints on your particular subject or establish the points that you want to be able to rotate by then it's literally as simple as coming down and adding some basic keyframes of you simply rotating that over the course of the timeline. And that coupled with the fact that we're also going to be using the animated camera with the focal length and aperture creates something very special. Now, I'm going to be using these particles and effects to throw them into the background. These are the ones that I used in the final thing. I'm dropping these to my private members community exclusively. So if you want to download these assets along with another big overlays pack, come join us. Link down below to Video Production Plus. We're going to be giving these assets away exclusively to Video Production Plus members. So come over there. Let's throw some particles in there, which just gives more detail to it. And it's 
it's just another layer. It's just more going on. It's more texture to the image. But the real fun comes when you start throwing the flashes in to our sequence because this obviously creates the illusion. This is a genuine video. We've got people who are, who are, you know, flashing stuff. We've got particles moving around. And then all of a sudden, when this happens very quickly in an edit, also coupled with and kind of put next to genuine real clips, the mind doesn't necessarily you know, register that. This could be a animated video. It, it could be a picture. Who knows what's going on there? You're just aware that a very cool effect is happening in front of you. And that right there is the parallax effect. So to recap, all you need is high quality images, Photoshop, throw it into Photoshop, isolate all your layers, content aware, fill the background. It's going to look a little strange. Don't worry about that. Take it over to After Effects. One of the dopest effects that is in existence, I use this for the Nelly edit. The Nelly edit, hands down one of the nicest edits I've done, I think. And I pretty much just banged out the tutorial on the train down to Manchester uh, watching the Parallax Effect. Join us at VP Plus. Link is down below. I'll see you guys there. The overlay pack is awaiting you. See you inside. <laughs>